Yeah, and you Thank often you. say that uh, game designers uh, in the in the past, uh, game designer made games for themselves, the games they want to play, and then mm-hmm. now uh, it's set up as more of a, a career success thing. You you try to make the hits, and therefore you're trying to design for more people. Well. Um, Okay, when people start to learn to make the games, um, they will usually have been playing games in the past. And they, the very first games that they'll be making are ones that are in reaction to the ones that they've played. So they play games, they think, that I could do that better. Well, that's given me an idea. And they'll make games which they want to play, and it's just the first step. I'm not criticizing that as um, an overall stage that game designers would need to go through. But then after that, um, people uh, become more accomplished. They understand how games are put together. They understand the mechanics, not only of games, but of game design. So they can use games, um, game mechanics as components for making a game. Now, um, this is like the craft of games, like um, if craft as in, um, you want to make a pot, you make a pot and you, and you can be very good at making pots, but the pot itself doesn't have to say anything. It just has to be a really good functional pot. People buy pots, not because, wow, that's a beautiful pot that they buy it because I want to put a flower in it or I want to drink out of it, or I want to eat something out of it. I mean, the people buy things for their functional reasons. Now there are some, um, this, this stage I'd call the designer of games stage. Um, where you're designing games um, because actually you're pretty good at it and you can see a career move out of it. Uh, and there are some very, very good designers of games, people who um, you give them a topic and they will design a game for that topic and it will be a good game. But they're not saying anything to the to the players. Um, so they're they're like novelists who can write a good story, but the story's vacuous. It doesn't, it, it, it was fun while you read it, but it doesn't have any impact on the, on you afterwards. It, it doesn't say anything to you. Um, it was just a you know, rollicking good read. But then you also get people who normally after they've gone through this um, designer of games stage, or it could be that they have to go through that because they know where they want to go. But this is the game, the game designer stage. And this is where if you are someone who has something to say through a game, then you'll say it. So rather than being a very good game design engineer, if you like, um, which is the designer of game kind, it's when you yourself have something within you that you want to express. And if you've got a sense of what that is, that makes the game designed the game that you design it's usually a lot better because if you know what has to be you don't necessarily know why you just know that it has to be that makes everything else fall into place so much easily if you know that your game is about addressing fear or your game is about building bridges or your games are about freedom of speech freedom of identity whatever if you know what your game's about then whenever you're adding something new or you're looking for um, um, new mechanics or anything, you can just, does that follow what I want to say? And if it does, then you'd put it in. If it doesn't, then you wouldn't. Um, Which means that if you have got something to say, it makes it easier. Now, the thing is, lots of people have got things to say. I mean, there are plenty of people who've got things to say with art and they do the paintings, but they haven't got the craft. They're just not good enough at painting. And there are other people who are very, very good at painting, but they've got nothing to say. So they, they can sit down and um, paint an exact um, portrait of you and it looks just like a photograph, but um, I may, may as well have taken a photograph. And the, uh, so having the, the technique and having something to say, you need both if you're going to be a, um, a game designer. Now, if you're um, employed uh, in a company as a game designer, a lot of the time you really will just be doing designer of game stuff. Um, the bigger the game you're working on, um, the more your hands will be tied. But if there's um, any opportunity to say something in a game, to say something through the gameplay, then 
the better designers will seize that and they will do that maybe consciously maybe not um, but that's where you get the best games Uptown.